three, two, one. Hey guys, it's Chris and Fur, and we are CD2 Fish, and we're back for Tackle Talk Thursday. Um, this is going to be a little bit different. Right now, we just had to get some new appliances in the house. Um, I'm wiring a bunch of stuff up in the boat. We've got tournaments kicking off, so it's just I'll just quick spin. It is an absolute wreck here. So, um, so this is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to try to keep this a little bit shorter. Um, for the last couple of videos that you guys saw, um, wow, I don't even remember what videos they were, do you? Mm -mm. Oh, Fish and Clear Lake, uh, Crystal Clear Lake. That's actually a lake I grew up on. My dad grew up on that lake. My brother spent a lot of time out there too. Like, we, we, we spent a lot of time on that lake and I'm just now getting back into fishing out there. So, um, uh, started off the day, Watermelon Red, um, U-Vibe Speedworm from Zoom. Uh, just a regular one, not the mag. Um, I had a quarter ounce weight, which is a little bit heavier. Most guys are going to run like a 3 16 ounce weight on that. I always run a little bit heavier, especially I was, I did start the day off working in a little bit deeper water. Um, I could have switched to a 3 16 I wish Fur was out there with us. When we went out there last time, we were on a gnarly cold front. Remember how bad it was? That was bad. I was having to punch through small holes and float in land mats to even get them and that was pretty crazy yeah. he watched me almost take my head off with a two ounce uh tungsten but um yeah i started out with that and then i i would flip flop back and forth if there were any fish on the bed i was actually throwing a green pumpkin slim shake from guggen um and then that was just pinned with a quarter ounce weight i'd drop it right down there they didn't want to eat anything else usually i throw a white bandito bug or like a white uh, lizard or something like that like a zoom lizard or something cheap like that um, and they didn't want any part of it and as soon as I dropped that green pumpkin slim shake gone um, so yeah that was it on that um, I caught the tail end of spawn out there there was nothing really I, there was one seven or eight pounder on a bed and I was hitting her in the head and she wasn't eating so um, that was it was just tough but we still put some fish together um, but other than that uh fur fished his first official tournament mm -hmm. we've been very busy with football life i mean you guys just saw the garage i've been spinning my head's just been spinning in circles guys i have not been really fishing a lot over the last two weeks i want to be you know everybody wants to be fishing i'd mean, rather be fishing than school or fishing than work and stuff like that but sometimes life will get in the way so um you know take care of business now the water's always waiting for us so uh the tournament did not go as planned uh old captain dad here really botched it i ran to a different area thinking i was gonna have a different approach now if it was three weeks ago we probably would have had some money right because mm -hmm. we were on them and it seems like the area that i was targeting just sh basically shut off i mean yeah that was it it's it wasn't nothing for us to pull into a, a certain set of canals and, and it's a very short canal too the first one that we fish and um it'd be nothing for me to have three or four in the boat just off that one canal and then catch two or three at the mouth of that one on the way to the next canal that sits down from it and nothing i mean absolutely nothing i didn't even i got one bite in the first canal um i caught a one what did it end up 1.15 pound yeah. i had a five or six pounder come out of a boathouse following my chatterbait uh, as usual, I was a golden shiner, uh, jackhammer, and then Fur had a golden shiner. Uh, slobber knocker. Yeah, slobber, yeah, the Berkeley slobber knocker. And um, I, he followed, or she followed it, and and yeah, I just, I, I don't know. It was one of those things, a short strike. I, we've been having a really bad problem with fish short striking. It, it just something, I don't know, it's just weird. But uh, we ended up placing 17th in that tournament. Um, I only weighed in one fish. It was tough, man. It, but you know, we still had fun doing it. So overall, it wasn't it wasn't terrible. We got a feel for it. He got to experience what a blast off is. Um, our Monday night series, we fish as a shotgun start. He's never seen a shotgun start or experienced one. What it? How, what do you think about it? It was scary at first. But that's it. <laughs> yeah, it was an interesting ride across the lake. My stealth's only 18 foot. 
so it, it's it's a little rocky when i'm catching other wake like a 20 or 21 foot boat and it's still scary it's it's sketchy regardless but you know on a 20 21 footer you can kind of work for some reason my 18 it just it's tough that my boat will turn on a dime but it does not like trying to ride those waves coming and skipping in so i got to kind of come out in an angle and then work and pop my way in behind another boat so we followed uh i don't even remember was that a nitro we followed over yeah, through there yeah was. luckily i got behind a big nitro and he was out running me but i was able to stay up in a, you know out of his wake and stay in the cut right behind him so it wasn't terrible once we rolled over the the wake of the other boats it was pretty smooth sailing to our first spot so um but yeah guys that's gonna bring us to our next thing let's go ahead uh, i'm gonna cut the camera real quick we're gonna walk out and show you guys what what we've been working on and getting our boat to that next level so stay tuned we'll be right back to you outside it's going to be very bright this florida sun is whooping my hind end right now so we'll be right back to you guys all right first gonna do the honors and revealing to you guys what we've been working on three two one boom mega 360 guys we got mega 360 for the boat finally there she is done up now i do run a motor guide tour pro so I had to get a hold of Bass Boat Electronics. You can check them out, BassBoatElectronics.com. Not a sponsor, not anything like that, but they did take exceptionally good care of us. This is the transducer. I'm gonna flip the camera. Maybe. That is the transducer, transducer Shield and Saver Company that makes these. It's a trick, slick little bracket, and it comes right up, clamps on, and then it, it converts it because this is a two inch shaft to where this is like the Minn Kota bracket. I think this is the Fortrex bracket right here. I may be wrong, it may be the Alltrex. I'm not really a Minn Kota guy, so nothing against Minn Kota. It's just that's not my cup of tea. Uh, but anyways, um, I just realized I gotta adjust the transducer a little bit more. That rounded part's gotta be facing dead forward. But And then that will adapt it to the inch and, I think it's like inch and seven eighths or something is the shaft of, of the Minn Kota. So that bracket clamps, the transducer saver from Bass Boat Elec that I bought from Bass Boat Electronics clamps to the shaft. And then it comes over and goes to this uh, bracket here. And then you just utilize the Minn Kota bracket and then that clamps everything on. That's our Motor Guide Tour Pro. I like the Tour Pro. Um, there is room for improvement, but I am old school. I do like the cable drive that this still offers. And here's the next one. If you guys follow us on Instagram, you've seen this. This is from Straight Up Mounts. That's S-T-R, the number eight, mounts dot com check them out guys i'm actually working on trying to become an affiliate for them great group of guys I, I talked with one of them recently i'm actually adding a tool carrier to this now with my stealth being a little bit smaller you guys have seen this is my tackle storage my cargo my front cargo hold that does not leave us a lot of room up here and it's always a problem. How bad was it before we put that recessed tray in? It was pretty bad. I almost fell over trying to run the trolling motor. He always wondered why dad was all wobbly and everything like that up here. Well, then I let him run it. We did not have a recessed pedal tray. So you are one foot up. How bad was the waves in the tournament? It was pretty bad. We had what? Two and a half to three yeah, rollers? Whenever hitting? whenever we got back to the boat ramp, the water was splashing in the back of the boat. Yeah, the waves were actually breaking over the back of our boat. They were breaking over the dock in the little marina area where, where we launched and weighed in at. It was rough. I, I mean, I, I was going on a heck of a ride. I've got a pretty long shaft trolling motor on this boat for the size of this boat. And the trolling motor was coming out of yep, the water. Trolling motor was coming completely out. I'm talking completely out of the water. I was losing live scope. I was losing down scan. I was losing everything because we were coming all the way out of the water. So I had to get tricky. This is an aftermarket recessed pedal tray. It actually goes up into the nose of my boat. Um, it's a little unorthodox, but I had to do it. I had to do it. The only problem I'm having is it will catch the back of the pedal right here. And uh, that will freak out spot lock. Spot lock is kind of crazy. If any of you guys have like a Tor Pro, uh, drop a comment below and let me know. You'll be watching and it just goes ring, 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 like that. The pedal will start rocking. And it's almost like the live, or um, live scope, goodness, I'm falling apart. It's almost like the spot lock hits like a weird dead spot and catches on the pedal. I'm not sure what's going on. Um, 
but yeah that's what we've been working on this is the dual mount you guys have seen my monitors before this is a 93 sv garmin this is a helix 9 hummingbird uh, just a down image model um these these are linked to my helix 10 which i i've still got the cover clamped on but this one is linked to my helix 10 um so those can communicate. I've got to work on that. This is going to be the monitor for Mega 360. And then I just run the old LSV32, uh, which is in that cover right there. That's got a NetBuddy uh, neoprene cover on that. I, I'm actually about to hit up NetBuddy and get another cover for the Mega 360 right there. And uh, yeah, this is the trig mount. It, you would think looking at it that it would have like you would have visibility problems but honestly i can see better with these than the original way i had these mounted it's not really bad is it no it's not that bad no it's not it bad at all really to get in the boat at the yeah. dock the poor my... kid here his foot, foot got his stuck. foot got stuck under the bracket right here when he was going to get off the dock i had to actually almost carry him onto the boat and he's a growing boy now i just found out 13 years old this kid wears the same size shoe as me so better watch out pop's gonna start stealing his a dudes no no he says no but they're they're gonna get stolen by me but yeah guys that's what we've been working on getting the new mount rigged up getting the recessed foot pedal tray rigged up uh shout out to my buddy for helping me out with this mega 360 getting that done shout out to bass boat electronics for having this in stock and getting it to me quick transducer shield and saver for making an awesome bracket to my knowledge that's the only one of its kind is from transducer saver so yeah we're slowly trying to bring the old stealth up into uh modern day she's beat i mean you guys can see she ain't a pretty boat dude she's all chipped up and dinged up and listen that just adds character she treats us well even when the motor tears up and everything starts falling apart because it's got an old evinrude ficked on it i think i probably don't have the only running ficked left in the world uh but She'll run 55 loaded down with everything we got in it. I mean, I can't ask for much more out of this boat. She's been she's been golden to us. I appreciate it. I hope to keep her alive for a few more years. Uh, so anyways, anything else you want to go over for? No, not that I can think not of. Not much. Like I said, guys, we haven't been fishing a lot. I've heard from people that the Harris chain's been turning on. They've been stacking them up on a Popka. Um, there's still big bags coming out of Lake Okeechobee down there in South Florida. Um, it's a bunch of community holes from what I've seen down there. So don't go down there with high hopes thinking you're going to get a spot to yourself. Um, Harris chain. I haven't talked to anybody that's fished the St. John's River recently. Um, I did hear through the grapevine that they're biting on the St. John's. I can't tell you which area. Uh, St. John's. I haven't fished the St. John's River since I was almost Christopher's age. Fishing shell bars out there. Uh, I used to fish gulp shrimp like for saltwater fishing um and that's how i was catching bass it was crazy pearl white gulp shrimp is craziest thing ever um i don't even know if it was gulp shrimp back then it might have been another brand uh saltwater assassin maybe i don't even remember but that was the way i got on i'm fishing up up, up north on the st john's now the south end of the st john's i can't make any promises uh any other lakes around here we've talked to anybody that have not really they just had the bfl tournament shout out to everybody that fished the bfl tournament i was waving and honking the horn at you guys driving over the dead river so if you were one of the 30 boats rushing back to get to lake harris to make way in uh that was just me saying hi going over the bridge uh, i'm not cool enough to fish those yet keyword being yet i think i think my heart's telling me that's where i want to try to go so i swore off tournament fishing for a long time maybe i'll make a video explaining that but uh that's for another time anyways guys um i can't really think of anything else we're gonna try to make this one short and sweet show you guys a little bit what's going on talk a little fishing mm -hmm. fur you think we should sign out yep all right guys i'm gonna go ahead and cut this i still gotta wire the rest of the mega 360 in and cook dinner and eventually get some rest so on behalf of fur and chris we are cd2 fishing and guys we'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye, guys.